More than a few eyebrows were raised when Stillington, a small industrial village on the outskirts of Stockton, won the 2006 Calatees Valley Village of the Year Award, but not the local residents, who all believe the area has something very special to offer. Judith Turner is a member of the Parish Council and has been a pivotal figure in their bid to become the nation's premier village. We heard about it last year, but this year there had been so much happened in the village uh, with the new playground and the church restoration, etc. We thought that, you know, our village would be quite eligible for it, so we entered it. We have a lot in this village going on that other villages don't because it's a working village, it's not a dormitory village. We're fortunate that we have what I call the cornerstones. We have the church, we have a, a brilliant school, we have an excellent surgery. We have a lot of things that other villages do not have. Gwyn Dunn also sits on the parish council and has been heavily involved in the bid. She says it's nice for the village to finally get recognised for the hard work the residents have put in. I think people are very pleased that uh, it's actually been recognised that Stillington does have so many positive um, things going on within the village and that we do have strong community life. People from outside the area often have a sort of quite a negative impression about the village, but uh, people who live here know that that's not the case and it's sort of proved, you know, proving to everybody that uh, there's a lot of very good things happening in Stillington and it's a lovely place to live. So what is Stillington village life actually like? It's a very friendly place. Um, there is a lot going on, a lot going on for all the, all different ages. Um, there's also um, a lot of industry in the village, and that has the industry has very strong links with the community. They're very supportive of community ventures, which you don't find in many places. Martin Walker is the divisional director of North Eastern Iron, who have provided vital financial clout to the village's transformation. He says the industrial aspect to the village has provided them with an organisational edge. I think it's this business of coordination. The real process comes from those in the village. But I mean, there's no, no doubt that we've got money. Um, and uh, we also have organisation. So it gives us the opportunity, we, we've got the opportunity to give that bit of that organisation and a bit of that money to the project. So, what do the residents of the village think of the recognition Stillington is receiving? Well, I'm quite pleased with it overall. Uh, can only do the environment some good the local inhabitants some good and hopefully might get a bit of investment some way or the other. I think it really deserves it because I think it's the best village and it's got a lot of things for the children and the adults and it's very environmental friendly. Village of the year, it, 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 it was never a consideration, uh, I'd never thought about it in the past but it, it's, a, it's just a wonderful accolade. But do the residents fancy their chances in becoming the nation's number one village? The northern region does cover a very large area so obviously there will be a lot of competition and we don't really know who we're competing against or what their villages have but uh, really regardless of whether we uh, we win or not in the next level it's been great to we'd be the Tees Valley Village of the Year and just putting together um, the display for the judges visit in April um, has brought a lot of people together and uh, people have enjoyed put it, putting everything together to show what we have in Stillington um, so regardless of whether we, we win or not the whole experience has been very positive. Mm -hmm.